Good morning and welcome back for another segment of Valley Living. With us today is Tara Beck, a realtor with Dakota Plains Realty in Fargo. Tara has been licensed for nine years and has over 15 years of industry experience. Tara is here today to share some helpful information on preparing your home for sale. Good morning, Tara. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yes, thank you so much for being here. I'm excited to chat about this. Yeah. It's always a topic that everyone loves to talk about is real estate. So. Absolutely. So what would you say is really the first step to take when considering selling your home? So the first step that I would recommend anyone take is to find a realtor that you trust. Mm -hmm. um, look for someone who can really help guide you through the process and just overall answer your questions and someone that you feel comfortable with because it, it is overwhelming. and. Um, if you find the right people, it can be a much easier and seamless process. Absolutely. Just how important is that, you know, having a great working relationship with your realtor? Yeah, so it's really important. Um, you're going to want to make sure that that person is someone who understands, I mean, this is your biggest asset mm -hmm. um, or one of your bis biggest assets, more than likely. Um, and so we have a lot of questions and we want to make sure that we're getting the most return and you know that we're not lost in any step of the process. So. Absolutely. So what about people who are curious, you know, wondering if they need to remodel or renovate their homes before thinking about selling? Yeah. So obviously buyers love updates. Mm -hmm. You know, we love um, buyers mostly love updates in their kitchens and their bathrooms. Um, we do kind of really have to stop or take a step back and think about is this the right update to make mm -hmm. um, financially are we going to get a good return on our investment if we do this update um, you know typically we do see the best returns in the kitchen and baths but yeah I mean any any buyer would be happy to see updates anywhere but those mm -hmm. are our biggest Absolutely. Jeez. So what about people who, you know, are thinking about selling, but they feel like they really need to declutter? Where should they start? Yeah. So this is a really common question. And I think this is where people start to really get overwhelmed in the process. And what I always tell my sellers, um, you know, is to just basically go room by room, go through your house and mm -hmm. take it room by room and look at the items that you know, you might not even see when you, you know, are just busy living in your house. Um, but look at those items and determine, is it something that I need today? Is it something that I need in, you know, the next week? Mm -hmm. And if the answer is no, then those things are probably the ones that I would pack away first and put into storage. Absolutely. Well, you have so much experience in the industry. I'm curious though, you know, looking at homes and showings, how clean does a home need to be? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> um, so in short, I would say very clean. Mm -hmm. um, a clean home just, you know, starts the showing off in a much better light. Um, when it smells good, it looks good, um, it feels good. Mm -hmm. So I always tell sellers too, I mean, maybe you're too busy, maybe cleaning isn't really your thing, or you just don't really enjoy it. We have a lot of wonderful cleaning companies here mm -hmm. that you could just make a list and give them that list and they would take care of it all for you and that would knock one thing right off of your to-do list so those are good ways to offload a little bit of that work yes absolutely so what about home inspection should that be completed before you list the home yeah, it can be done either. Um, I typically say if a seller has the means to do it and the time to do it, it definitely would make sense to do it up front. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of, again, very talented home inspectors and reliable home inspectors in our area. And you could really use that information as a guide to help you, you know, if later on you have an appraisal or things like that, they can really use their trained eye to find deferred maintenance mm -hmm. or maybe things that you don't even see when you're walking through your home. Um, you know, cause we, we live in them, we're busy. And so yes. sometimes we forget that, you know, we need to change our furnace filter or, mm -hmm. you know, basic things. Yes, definitely some good tips. Is there anything else that folks should really be thinking about before starting this process? Yeah, I mean, probably one of the biggest things that we really talk about um, at the first meeting is our abstract. Almost every property in the Fargo-Moorhead area is going to have an abstract. And what an abstract is, is a legal document. It keeps track of all the legal documents and everything that has happened or occurred with that particular property. Um, you received your abstract when you purchased. 
Um, you could have chose to store your abstract or you could have um, taken it into your possession. Mm -hmm. But basically to just know where that abstract is, is, you know, key. So is it in storage? Is it in a safe deposit box? You know, just knowing where to look for that and have it available when you do get an offer and we do need to update that. Yes, absolutely. So how can people reach out to you for more information? Yeah, so um, my contact information is 701-640-8962. If you have any questions, you can call me or text me. Um, and my email address is tarabeckrealtor at gmail.com. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us, Tara. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Yes, of course. All right, everyone stick around. We have much more yet to come on today's show.